Welcome to lesson 6.2. We're going to be covering angle, angle side, triangle congruence. Um, this is pretty much a continuation of the previous credit, credit 3, where we covered all the different triangle congruence statements. We've covered angle side, angle, side, angle, side, 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 side. And I think this is our fourth triangle congruence theorem. So it's pretty much the same, right? If you have two tri triangles that have uh, the same angle, angle, and then side in that order, then you can conclude that two, those two triangles are the same. So if we take a look at this example here, triangle ABC and triangle DEF, you'll see um, that uh, I'm, I'm going to number it because I think it, it helps us to see what I'm talking about. If we look at this as 1, 2, and this side as 3 in that order, right, you're going from you're going from, uh, let me change the, the uh, color here. When you're going from 1 to 2 to 3, you'll see that it's the same for the other triangle as well. You're going from E to D to the side DF, right, in that order. So because they have the same, and, and how do you know that those angles are the same? Well, if you look closely, you'll see that B has two lines on there. E has two lines on the angle marker. Same thing for A, you have one line, D has one line, and, and AC has one hash mark, and DF has one hash mark as well. So uh, hopefully you understand what, what we mean by um, angle, angle, side in that order. Uh, we're going to jump into some proofs, uh, and we're going to try to prove whether or not two triangles are, um, are congruent using the angle, angle, side, triangle congruence theorem. So... Um, if we look at uh, your turn number one here, uh, we're given two statements that side LN is congruent to NP and that angle M is congruent to angle O. So um, the first thing we're told that, I'm going to highlight it, this side LN, you see I highlighted the hash mark, is congruent to NP. That's the first statement here, right? Um, and that's a given. So I'm going to write given here, right? Because that was our first statement here. Here we have another statement, MN is congruent to O, which is also a given, but we can also see it over here. Angle M is congruent to angle O. So we're going to write given for that as well. Um, now, the only really new one, or the really kind of um, one that will connect all the dots here is statement 3, where we're told that angle LNM, this angle right here, is congruent to PNO, which is that angle right there. I'm going to put one hash mark through those just to signify that those are the same angle. Uh, and how do we know that they're the same angle? Well, when you have two line segments, uh, in this case line LP or segment LP and segment MO that are uh, intersecting at that one point N, those create vertical angles. And so uh, we, we would say the vertical angles are congruent. Vertical angles are congruent. And where am I getting the statement? I'm getting it up here. All right, we, we've done the given part. Uh, we, we just got the vertical angles are congruent part. And then we can conclude that triangle LMN and triangle PON are the same because they have the same angle. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm right. Angle, side, or sorry, angle, angle, side. Man, that was so confusing. Sorry about that. Let me try that again. We have the same angle, angle, and side. And in the case of the other triangle, angle, angle, side. Right? So uh, we're going to conclude with that. Angle, angle, side, triangle, congruence, theorem. All right, so that was your turn number one. Your turn number two, given that uh, angle T is congruent to R and SQT is congruent to SQR, we're going to prove that those two triangles are the same. So let's take a look at these given statements here. Angle T and angle R, right there. Angle T, angle R, okay? We know that they are congruent. They only have one line going through them. And then let's change colors here, SQT congruent to SQR. So SQT is this angle right there, 
congruent to SQR. And both of those angles have two lines to show that they are congruent. Now, if we look over here at our statements, they're actually the first two statements. So we can just write given for these first two. And here's the one that connects all, all the dots here. Angle, or sorry, segment QS is congruent to segment QS. So we're trying to say, change colors yet again, that QS, this side right here, this side that they're sharing is uh, congruent to itself. So what, which one is that? Well, that's the reflexive property of congruent. So that's what, that's what we're going to go with, or the reason that is. Reflexive property of congruence. And then we can conclude that because of the angle, angle, and then side, and then same case for the other triangle, angle, angle, side, that those two triangles are congruent. Angle, angle, side, triangle, congruence. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and apply angle, angle, side, congruence uh, to a bunch of triangles here. Um, you can go ahead and read all that if you want. We're going to jump into the your turn questions here. And um, we're going to be looking uh, especially at two particular congruence theorems, angle, angle, side, and then angle, angle, side, angle. Okay, and it looks like we're only using those two. So let's take a look. So uh, triangle ABC here has angle, angle, side. So that's looking good. And then same thing for uh, GEF, angle, angle, side. So we can use, ang oops, we can use angle, angle, side for that one. All right. Question number two. Um, let me let me draw one other thing before we continue. We can show that this angle is congruent to this angle because they are vertical angles. And in this case, we have, let me change the color, we have a angle, side, angle. And same angle, side, angle, which is what we're trying to get at anyway. So our choice, correct choice here is that first one, angle, side, angle. All right, let's take a look at Question number three. Okay, so um, hmm. this one can be a little bit tricky, right? Because a lot of students might assume that this line or that this base of this triangle here is just a straight line. However, I don't know if we can assume that because there's only this right angle marker on one side. So it's entirely possible. It is entirely possible that this uh, is not uh, 90 degrees, right? We cannot assume that that thing is 90 degrees. If it was 90 degrees, we could say uh, angle, side, angle, because it's sharing that side. But we're just not sure about uh, this side or this angle right here, right? There's just no way to verify it unless it specifically says it. So, um, as much as I would like to put angle side angle, I'm going to have to go with neither. Oops, let me use the highlighter for that. We're going to have to go with neither. All right, looking at question uh, four here, uh, we have an angle, we have a side, and we have what looks like to be another side, right, that they're sharing, right? Angle, side, side. Now, um, I don't think... Right, angle side side. Not only does that spell kind of a, a derogatory word, but um, we don't have an angle side side, so we're just going to go with neither. Oh, I don't know why I started circling that. One. I'm just going to put X. All right, here we go again. We have um, a very similar one actually to the previous one, but this time we have an angle. We have another angle and a side angle angle side which actually does work for us angle angle side is that one right there and then looking at question six um, let's see we have a side a side and then an angle hey that's the same thing as a, as as question four right 
that spells another derogatory word. We have a angle side side. And so um, none of these are angle side side. None of those stand for donkey. So we're going to go with neither for that one.